Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Wednesday, January 29th, and it's 10.07 a.m. And I would just like to read a short portion of this article from Israel AM about the peace deal that President Trump and his team came up with. It's 80 pages. This is just, I'm going to keep it short and leave a link for you to read more. But listen to this. All right. This was put up this morning, January 29th. It doesn't, let's see, let me go to the web version. They'll probably have the time of day. All right. Nope, they don't. At a press conference with Prime Minister, Prime Minister Netanyahu yesterday, President Trump revealed his 80-page peace plan. The plan recognizes Israel's West Bank settlements and calls for a, boy, could that be any lighter, a four-year freeze. Let me see if I can blow this up, uh, make it larger. View, zoom in. Try it one more time. Zoom in. It's a little better. Okay. The plan recognizes Israel's West Bank settlements and calls for a four-year freeze in construction while details of a Palestinian state are negotiated. The plan provides for a demilitarized Palestinian state in Gaza and large parts of the West Bank, which means demilitarized. they got to get their armies out of there. Stop shooting rockets at Israel. Including twice as much land. All right, let me start over. The plan provides for a demilitarized Palestinian state in Gaza and large parts of the West Bank, including twice as much land as the Palestinians currently control. So, they're offering them more land. Just stand down on your military. All right, moving on. The Palestinian area, not all contiguous, which I believe means it, it's not all touching. You know, you've got part of it over here and part of it over here. All right, would be connected by a series of tunnels, roads, and bridges. For example, the West Bank would be connected to Gaza via a tunnel running through Israeli territory. The Palestinians would also have their capital in the Abu Di neighborhood, which is technically within the boundaries of Jerusalem. The plan also provides the Palestinians with around $50 billion of economic incentives. Now, where, who's going to pony up the $50 billion? America? Who can't even feed its poor? Who can't even give disabled people their disability because they got to keep as many off as possible to save money? Give me a break here. Who do we think we are? It's like we're the New World Order already, and we're already we already take care of everybody. We're offering them fifty billion dollars of economic incentives. So that might not be cash, as much as opportunity to make that. It could be something like that too. All right, Trump revealed the plan to both Netanyahu and Gantz in separate private meetings on Monday. Gantz and his blue and white party enthusiastically are backing the plan. The Palestinians have categorically rejected the plan. Parentheses. They apparently don't believe in negotiating. Close parentheses. Well, it's brackets. This is in Israel AM. That's the name of the news article, the news publication that I get in my email. All right. <clears throat> Part of the plan called for the possibility 
of land swaps, which could include transferring 10 major Arab cities and towns currently in Israel to Palestinian control. 10 now. It sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Listen to this. All right, it lists the 10 towns, and I could try to say them, but I'd probably butcher them. The mayors of these towns and other officials have condemned the plan, even though it would not require them to move. Only the borders would be redrawn. So apparently, Israeli Arabs are not so keen on being part on being part, they left out the word of, being part of an independent Palestinian state and would rather remain Israeli citizens. Here is the Trump plan map. So then it shows the map. You could look at that. And, and then it goes on to talk about United Arab Emirates Embassy in Washington and some other stuff. What President Netanyahu said yesterday. So I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you can read the rest if you're interested. And to see this map where he's planning on redrawing borders and putting up his tunnel. It shows West Bank Tunnel going all uh, the bluish green areas or for the uh, Palestinians, uh, looks like to me. Anyway, I'll end it here, and I hope this was a helpful update on the peace plan and where we're standing. Palestinians still don't want anything to do with it. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. Oh, and notice my shirt. I painted this on my new, like, $6 sweatshirt. It is not about religion. It's about relationship. Okay? Remember that. Relationship. We keep our relationships. How? By respecting people. Saying, I'm sorry when I hurt you. Saying, will you forgive me? Or, I forgive you. So on and so forth. And with God, it's love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commands. Period. Have a nice day. I love you all. You're in my prayers.